Hey guys, today we're trying Hamsterdam. This should be cute. Controller highly recommended. Well, what a coincidence. I'm ready. Oops. I pressed A to continue, but then the, lo the menu loaded to the exact menu at the exact moment and just moved on. Alright. Maybe a mobile game? Got a map screen and three star ratings, which usually screams exactly that. Hmm. Alright, so just trying to take damage, basically. Are they evil weasels? Just really not a big fan of all of the other types of rodents, apparently. Grandpa, is that big chubby bucktooth chinchilla the infamous Marlow? He and his vermin gang are here. This is a real fight, and it's your time to lead. We'll have to continue the nine hamster paw technique training at another time. I'm still here to guide you. Hit the X button to attack a vermin. Let's get to a combo of 10. Keep hitting X. Alright, he's not exactly fighting back. Now watch this weasel. When he attacks, see him light up? Swipe towards him with left stick. Takes him down. So it's a counter. Okay, now try it. Watch the vermin light up, swipe towards them, and take them down. Give me three swipes. This is totally a mobile game, because they mean swipes as in you literally swipe towards them on the mo on the screen, on the phone. Mech. Wah. It's basically Batman combat, yeah. From the Arkham games. Just keep smacking at people and press the counter button whenever they light up, and that more or less autopilots through combat. Careful, in a fight, vermin can attack together and fast. Swipe towards both like this. Ah. Gotta redirect the direction now. Give me three more good ones. Oh, I think I've, I think I have to press up in that situation. Yeah. I have to keep track of where my current character currently is and press the direction based on that. Which makes it a bit more intensive than the usual having to press, uh... Than usually, the, just pressing one counter button is usually how these games kind of work. Excellent. Now let's put it together. Swipe towards the attacking vermin, and then, when it's in front of you, keep hitting. Kind of... Feels judgy to call these people uh... uh did I... I think I did it wrong. There we go. That's an ancient hamster foo saying, practice and more practice. Give me six more good swipes and some good hits. Rabbits are massive in this universe, apparently. Some real tail abuse happening here. God damn. God. Gah. <laughs> Great, Pim. Proud of you. Training wheels are now off. Let's take on these vermin and defend this place together. Also has a fair bit in common with, like, one finger death punch. Just somewhat less intensity and more of, like, a cartoony art style. Does not stand up well to being that, that zoomed in for the loading screen. It looks better during gameplay, actually. Why are rabbits huge? I guess rabbits are huge compared to hamsters. Oh yeah, chinchillas are really small too. I don't think they're long, lanky things though. They look more like a weasel, but a weasel would be absolutely massive compared to a hamster, I think. I think. Complete in time limit. Gotcha.
The art's really nice during gameplay, so it's it's fun. I think I can only attack after swiping. Because otherwise my character just swipes at the air, like the empty air. Well, this guy is screwed. Okay, that game, you get you let me do that for way too long without actually fighting back. That's kind of ridiculous. Oop. Sneaky. Oh. I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> the smacking is just like, it's too much. The counters are amusing, and this this high intensity stuff is like, oh my god, here I here he comes, look at this. There's a crazy counter scene and like some nice animation. But I'm just smacking him. And that part. The part where I hammer X for sometimes 10 seconds straight without the, anything happening in the game is like... That, that's maybe not a great choice. Maybe some, like... Intensity to be layered on as they teach a new mechanic in each level or something. Maybe we're just executing on the, on the tutorial now. That didn't seem like a very hit long combo. It only gets tough from here. Didn't Grandpa say the first hamster paw is something called perfect attacks? Ooh, okay, that's different. Let me focus and feel the rhythm. Hit X when the halo appears to do a perfect attack. Okay, so don't just spam. If I do five perfect attacks in a row, I get big hits for extra damage. The second hamster paw unleashes KO power. My hits charge up KO. When in full, hold on both triggers to drag KO icon over any vermin left stick. That sounds strange. Like the kind of thing you would do in a game that has uh, screen controls. And, at least, and release a, for an epic beatdown. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, shockingly violent, tiny hamster child. Now let's practice my KO power on the vermin. Drag KO icon on any vermin and release. I think I got this. Let's KO all the vermin. I don't really have to look at it necessarily. It's more that I just need to get used to the rhythm on its on its own. Yeah, the rhythm's consistent, so I can just get a feel for it instead of looking at the halos. There we go. Okay. So the reason why the smack, 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 smack for 10 seconds felt so underdeveloped is because it literally was, because the next level adds something new to that. That's it! With two hamster paw techniques under my belt, it's time to chase down Marlo. Damn you, video games. I have to actively fight calling him Mario. <laughs> hamster damn. No, I got those stars. We can do this. Collect seeds and dodge the vermin. Only five stars? I had nine available. Ooh. Ooh. It's definitely making more of a skateboard sound, isn't it? Ah. Oh, you can jump when you're already under the pipe. Gotcha. Oh. Oh yeah, you can just jump. To oh no. I missed the other one. I, I, I love the little slide. Look at that. Got it. Don't know what those were for, but okay. He's winning me over with his charms. Little kung fu bastard. Riding a scooter. Adorably. Yeah, you can't even- you can't do anything until the first guy attacks you.
Yeah, take somebody else out that I haven't hurt yet. Easy kill. Oh! Hey there, back guy. Oh, I can't hit him? Okay, fine. Die, small child. Bye. And instantly kill the one with full health. There we go. Now there's management. It's ca it's chill and casual so far, but I'm thinking about enough things now that it's at least engaging. Because now I'm like I'm I'm attacking on a specific rhythm. I drag my little KO thing over and. Because I'm trying to be efficient and get the fight over faster, I'm taking out the, the biggest target that I haven't damaged yet with each one. That's alright. And the art and character designs definitely pulling some weight here. Oh, he's got a bottle. That's a lot of them. The vermin are now armed and more dangerous. Looks like with weapons, vermin do rush attacks. They must have been drinking Marlow Tonic. Get decked. Hey there. Now keep getting seeds. Yeah, I get seeds for every level, I guess. I didn't notice the seeds existed until I did the other level. Oh, he hasn't taken damage yet. Whoop! Whoop! Hey there. You die. Or bug out. <laughs> that was weird. These guys don't look so good. I feel like they could use some medical treatment. I feel bad. Oh! You broke his spine. <laughs> oh, you can hear all of their organs pop. <laughs> it's mean. <laughs> Finish three vermin with chaos. Did I not? I thought I used more than three. Maybe they weren't finishers, though. Maybe. I don't really care about the stars that much. Wait, well, it looks like it says that I have three stars, though, on each one. Even though it said that I didn't? Or maybe I'm misreading it. Maybe that's another reward? I guess you sometimes pick up loot with Y. <laughs> as a mechanic. Boom. Are rabbits categorized as vermin? I'm gonna have to ask Cord Catcher about this. Oops, there we go. Goes around being called Bird Catcher, but specializes in rabbits. I see this trick. Oh! But he used to have teeth, and then we. What? Get out of here. That's mine. Oh! Oh no, I finally got hit. I've never been hit before. Goodbye. It seems like he shows up if you don't grab your own loot fast enough. He's like, he comes in to get it. He has to be stopped. Oh, there we go. I'm getting too focused on the rhythm. I'm not watching for the flash as much as I should be. Like the most durable enemy in the game. Oh. 
There we go. Hipster glasses. They want me to dress him up. All right. All right, let's dress the little bastard up. What do I spend with the? Oh, that's what seeds are for. They're entirely for dressing them up. Oh, gotta defeat the mini boss for that one. Oh yeah. So I can only afford one option. Oven mitts. Glasses. They don't even cost anything. You can't you can't purchase them and they don't cost anything. I'm confused. I thought they were what seeds were for, but Huh. Maybe after the first tier they start to cost money? Because these cost money, so I guess you unlock the requirement and then you purchase them? When I saw that they had a requirement, I thought maybe you could purchase them to skip the requirement or something. Because these ones are zero. I guess they just chose to have the first ones not cost anything. Now he's got a little bit of attitude. Whenever they're in the when when when, the, when the second one's in the up direction, which is most of the time, I actually am like doing it incorrectly half the time. Oh shit! Or uh, I'm just flicking the stick, and the backflip of it passing back over the dead zone ends up going back and hitting the top guy, without me even actively doing it on purpose. I see you've got two health bars. That's why. That's probably why he didn't go down in, in one. KO that one time with the shield. Have you guys realized you all dress exactly the same? It's nice of you to line up and attack me single file like that. Whoop. He just decided he wants to be next. Yeah? No. <laughs> I mashed a little bit too much because that's that's what I was doing during the quick time event. <laughs> Something was oddly cathartic about the, uh, specific sound of the, uh, the weapon being relocated and thrown around. There we go. Cleaner. I don't really want to wear weird gloves. It's a strange sight. Ah, boss fight. That's what I'm hoping to meet up with. We'll close off with that stuff. I was, I was waiting for that, for something like that to pop up as a nice little closer for the episode. Out. People wonder why these little kind of mini-games exist in games, but it's usually to increase variety of type so that you end up having more to do. Because the more you mix up what a player is doing at a given time, the more they end up liking the game overall and don't feel like they're just monotonously doing the same thing. This game could probably do with more t uh, variety of type, and that the main gameplay is pretty repetitive. And if it was one of like five or six different game si styles that you cycled through, it'd probably be less repetitive. But uh, it's at the moment uh, the majority of what we do. And it's a bit much. Oh, we're gonna get you, giant rabbit boy. Oh my god, he's hulking. That Marlow tonic. Whoa, the bunny is consuming- is tossing cannonballs. Us hamsters won't stand idly by for this madness. Swipe left and right to dodge D and toss the citizens back to knock- Toss the citizens back to knock the bunny out? I thought he was throwing cannonballs. Is he gonna throw people at me?
Okay, I don't want to jump into it. Okay. When are you gonna- is he gonna throw a citizen at some point? Is that what's gonna happen? Like he throws people sometimes? Oh, yep, there it is. Gotcha. Well, that's right when I was talking about having more types of gameplay, one actually shows up. Uh, it's cute. Also terrifying. That is a person, and I am using them as a weapon. With enough force that I'm causing serious damage to him. Oh my god, he's getting fast. Not hard to keep up with, but just... It's definitely like, seeing the sped up animation, you're like, Oh god, this is... Vaguely in- Okay. Okay, this got serious. You lose. <laughs> okay, so I think that, yeah, it goes by really fast, so I can't get a good look at it, but I think that's two different reward screens where I think you get stars for based on your amount of health left every time, but then you get uh, some other reward based on other hidden goals. This seems to be your seeds reward, I think. Yeah. Well, this has been the Hamster Dam. If you want to check this out, there's a link to the Steam page in the description. Thanks for thanks for the developer for sending me a code so I can preview their game. Also, I strongly suspect it's on phones, so if you want it on your phone, where it might be more of a take a break kind of game, where it probably fits better, uh, yeah, maybe check that out. Pretty repetitive, simplistic gameplay, but it's charming, if nothing else. I'm getting a kick out of it, but it probably wouldn't actually uh, I don't know if it'd keep my interest to play it all the way through, but I don't play any phone games at all, really. So, there's that. Uh, thanks for watching, like always, guys, and I'll see you next time.